This is Dr. Dave Gatros for COP3353 and let's start off with some very very basic shell scripting. Now depending upon which shell you're using the scripting language will change slightly but there is a difference and uh, later on in a subsequent video I'll point out some uh, differences. Uh, let's start off with a basic shell script. I'm just going to edit one right now and go over it. I'm going to call it basic shell.sh. I always put .sh at the end of it and we bring it up. Now the first thing that you're going to do is the very first line in every shell script is called the shebang. Okay, it's a, a pound sign, exclamation point, followed by the shell that you're using and in regardless of what shell you work in, you can write a shell script to work on any shell and it can be used by anybody as long as that shell is part of that uh, environment that you're in. We'll go and call it says so bin and we're going to use the uh, .ttcsh shell. Let me put it in correctly. Uh, I'm going to write a comment. This is uh, just a comment and does uh, nothing at all. Um, I almost always put uh, uh, shell, uh, the name is uh, basic shell, okay. so maybe a description, does just a few things to demonstrate the programming environment, author, Dr. Gatros, date, today. Now, shell script, we can uh, put any command that we can do on, uh, in Unix in here. So I'm just going to put a few in here just to show you uh, what it's like. Uh, I'm going to say cal. Uh, 2016, that's the calendar program. Uh, PS for printing out the current processes, PWD for printing out the uh, working directory that we're in right now, uh, today's date, and we'll just go ahead and print out the uh, listing directory. And you always uh, put exit status zero. All right, let's save this. All right, now we have to do one more thing. Uh, we have to change the permissions of this uh, to run it. Now there are ways to run it without it, but this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, change mod 700. 700 means the user can has all full privileges, everybody else has none. Basic shell. So now I can run it. So now all I have to do is type in basic shell.sh and there it runs. And Let's uh, go back up and take a look at it and you'll see that um, Right here, it printed out the calendar for 2016. There are the processes for this particular uh, uh, login session. Uh, there is the working directory, and right here are the um, uh, files that are listed in my directory. So, um, the uh, just to go over the uh, important things, um, the uh, let me uh, pick up the. Uh, uh, remember that the first line in it must be the shebang and you must tell it what uh, shell that you're running otherwise it's not going to execute properly. Remember to put in comments to kind of document what you're doing in here uh, and uh, just put in the commands that you want to work. Now uh, while we're here uh, I'll just go ahead and use a simple shell variable and I'll say uh, I'll put in here um, uh, set my name equal uh, Dr. Yuri Zhivago, okay, from the movie Dr. Zhivago, and uh, Echo, okay. My name is, okay. I'm going to take this out, okay. My name is, and then say my name. Now you'll notice that I put the dollar sign on that. We'll save this. Okay, we've already changed the permission and uh, run it. Basic shell, and you'll see that. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. 
My name is Dr. Yuri Shivago. Okay, now look at that. I want to point something out while we're doing this. Uh, you'll notice that the literal string my name is is in quotes, but the fact that it's double quotes, not single quotes, the double quotes means that I can put a variable name inside of it and uh, it will execute or print out the value of that. As, uh, so uh, that is how you do that. And uh, this is the very basic shell script. Uh, start by writing this one, get it to work, get it so that you can chmod. Now, um, again, we'll talk about a few differences, uh, but uh, this should work on, this type of uh, thing should work on most shell types, except for the set command. The set command is different depending on whether you're on the uh, C shell or Born shell. Okay, we'll hope this uh, helps. On to the next.